Good morning, YouTube. It is time for me to put my reputation on the line because I believe at long last that Starship is going to be approved by the FAA, at least for some of the operations that were spelled out in the PEA and with relatively minor environmental requirements. Why do I believe all of this? Well, first of all, let me start off by saying that this footage was provided as you can see by my friend and colleague Boca Chica Gal and NASA Space Flight. Please subscribe to their channel and pay attention to what they do because they do an amazing job not just on Starship but on every type of launch. But that having been said, here's why I believe these things. At the moment, the FAA process is nearly completed. They have checked off a whole bunch of boxes on their list and there's actually nothing left. If there were an issue, they would have announced it already. And I'm going to explain why all of this is the case in just a moment. Hello, YouTube. I'm the Angry Astronaut, and this is... First of all, let me make it perfectly clear that I believe that SpaceX is already aware of the fact that the FAA has approved their application, and this is because we have S-24 moving up towards the launching pad. Now, granted, it's going to have to go through a great deal of testing before they even start thinking about sending this thing to orbit. A recent mishap of some kind caused it to lose a fair number of its heat panels, as you can see, but nevertheless, the fact that the ship was moved out just a few days prior to May 31st, which is the deadline for the FAA decision, is one strong indication, but it is by no means the only one. It's also worth noting that S-24 is the first Starship prototype, the first new one that is to be rolled out to the launch site since S-20, the first one in nine months. And the fact that they're choosing this particular moment to roll it out to this location is not a coincidence, I assure you. Now, on top of that, there's a lot of modifications to the new prototype. There's a more resilient thrust section, a new nose, and also a different header tank, that is to say the tank it uses for landing, a payload bay and door, at least according to Tesla Rati. Now, unlike the original prototypes, this new prototype has all of the header tanks in the nose, and this is probably due to weight distribution. Now that we're adding three additional engines into the base of this rocket, we need additional weight at the nose in order to give it proper balance and proper weight distribution for the crazy flip turn that this thing does when it tries to land. Now, on top of that, the schedule for qualification tests is going to be a little bit different than what they used to do with previous prototypes. They're obviously taking greater care with S24 than they did with the previous models. First of all, they're going to minimize the risk of catastrophic failure by first using hydraulic rams to simulate the thrust of six Raptor V2 engines, while Starship steel tanks and plumbing are chilled to cryogenic temperatures. Only after Ship 24 completes stress testing will SpaceX install new Raptor engines and perform several static fires. That being the case, having 30 plus engines on the booster is probably going to require a hell of a lot of exhaustive testing as well before they take the risk of conducting a static fire with that that many engines. Now, it's worth noting that SpaceX did not use this exhaustive process on SN20, or S20 as we call it these days, Starship 20. Instead, what they did is just light all six engines several times during static fires. In my opinion, this may have left the ship unflightworthy, but of course, then again, it didn't have the modifications to the header tanks and other things that we have with S24 that may be necessary in order to carry out a successful orbital flight. It is a little bit disappointing though. Everybody was talking about SN20 being the first ship to go to orbit and it looks like that it's not going to fly at all and this stacking process that it went through on a couple of occasions was done simply 
simply to test the stacking process. It wouldn't have been used to test any sort of structural integrity because they didn't put fuel in either the orbiter or the booster, so that really isn't an effective test, but they probably also did it for photo opportunities. A little disappointing, but at the same time, now that we have S24 moving up to the pad, things are getting very exciting. Now, is it just what SpaceX is doing that I'm basing my conclusions on? Well, no. I'm basing it on the FAA report as to the progress that they have made. The environmental assessment is what we're waiting on, and here's the important factors to consider. First of all, the Section 106 review, which is in regards to the historical value of any areas that may be threatened by Starship, that's done. It was completed on May 6th of 2022. And by the way, that was the last of it. The Endangered Species Act consultation was completed on April 22nd, 2022. So really, the delay, in my opinion, was caused because Section 106 was not yet complete, which means we really don't have anything left in this process to be completed. If there were any environmental considerations, which the FAA found to be unacceptable, we would have known about it by now. The only thing that remains is the EA, now that Section 106 was completed just a few weeks ago, and there is nothing standing in the way of the FAA completing their process by the 31st of May. Count on it, guys. In a couple of days, we're going to have an approval from the FAA. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be an unrestricted approval. There may be some minor environmental requirements that SpaceX needs to implement before they can begin their testing process. But given how many stages of this process are now completed, especially the endangered species process, that was what I was the most concerned about while I was being a naysayer about all this stuff. All of that is done and there are no significant issues. So I am confident at this point that we are going to be moving forward as of May 31st and SpaceX already knows it. And that's why S24 is sitting there right now. So we have some very exciting moments coming very soon, guys, and I can't wait to cover them with you. Smash that like, hit that subscribe, and also check out the description if you want to support my channel so I can keep coming out with this content fast and furious and stay angry about space.